Today on Exploring Limitations, I'm gonna do something that I don't normally do. It's kind of a unboxing. I acquired this TDK Endless Cassette from 1987, the year of my birth, and I'm not sure if it's going to work in the Porta Studio. If it turns out that it functions the way I think it should, this is a 30 second or so cassette loop. Spoiler alert, if you're seeing this in a public place, it probably worked. Here we go. Part one, what is this cassette? TDK endless cassettes with foil are designed to be used with special application. For example, telephone answering machines that operate horizontally and rely on metal sensing foil for automatic resetting. TDK endless cassettes will not function correctly when used with auto reverse cassette decks, dual capstan cassette decks, and cassette decks that suspend operation via motor sensor on the supply side. That is the area in which I am not sure if the Porta Studio will work because I'm a dum dum, but we are going to find out. So basically, this is a cassette loop with some foil on it. I do not know how the Porta Studio will react. I'm not worried about the Porta Studio. I'm just curious if this will work as a tape loop. Now that you know what it is, what I'm trying for, let's get to part two, see if it works. All right, we're gonna do the uh, old school unwrapping. I'm actually really bad at this. Ta-da! Hopefully that was all sped up for you. Let's just pop it in and see if it even plays. I think it's working. It's going at a crazy high speed though. It's in, it appears to be playing. So let's just quickly give it a little test and to see if I can record any uh, guitar into it. And then we'll move on to another section of the video. I have no idea how long this should be taking. It's, we've got recorded signal, it's armed. Uh, I'm gonna give it, you know, I'll speed it up for you, but I'll give it uh, 30 seconds or so, and then uh, we'll play it back and see if it works. Here's the moment of truth. <laughs> Did that record and can I play it back? Let's go to tape. It works. It works. Yes! Oh, and there's the pause. That might be the foil or something. Huh. Well, it's got some gaps in it, but that's gonna be interesting. Without further ado, let's get to... Part 3, Filling Up the Tape. It freaking works! Today I'm in a very Lydian mood, which is a very, like, mysterious and uplifting sound. Mystery. <laughs> I also like, feel like playing with the idea of recording two different bass notes, kind of doing the Cortini style where we put something different on every track and we'll get that Lydian harmony going and then maybe something melodic. I don't know. Let's just focus right now on track one. Let's play back what's already there just quickly. Okay, now this was recorded at high speed. I'm curious if low speed will work. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh. That's really cool, but I kind of want to give that bass note a more harmonic texture. And let's just go for track one. Uh, let's dial in a sound real quick. All right, I found a cool tone. Let's record track one. All right, let's listen back to track one. Yeah. Let's go half speed now. Yes, that's cool. I don't care that there's gaps in it. All right, let's move on to track two. Okay, we are moving on to track two. Now, harmonically, we were at a B and I'm gonna go a minor third up from where I was, but 
Let's change the tone of the guitar. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, yeah. this. I noticed that it was playing at normal speed first, so hopefully that's still in the loop. I kind of want to hear what that sounds like. That was a happy accident. It's not gonna win any Grammys, but let's move on to track three. Let's hear what this sounds like real quick. I think I found some uh, some thing to record to track three. All right, let's hear how that sounded. I love how the whole cassette loop has one gap. That's the foil. But with that, let's record something weird to track four. I think for track four, I'm gonna do something with a pick, something with the echoplex delay, and to get just some gestures of harmony slash melody. <laughs> Play that back and see what weirdness I just did there. Again, we're not winning Grammys today. There you have it. The TDK Endless Cassette works. They're still not great loops. You should still either make your own tape loops or have a friend or go to battery operated or somebody like that. Self-made tape loops don't have that piece of aluminum foil with that gap. Uh, the gap is workable though. And if you're interested, I'm going to mix this and I'm gonna show that on Patreon for patrons. Links to Patreon and all of my original music are below. I very much appreciate you watching, very much appreciate your support. Again, I'm gonna play us out with a little bit of a snippet from that Patreon session. Otherwise, you still mean the world to me and I hope you have an amazing day. Get out there, get weird, peace, and be good to each other. Now I switched on my octave up and I'm feeding it back into that loop. So I'm getting that shimmery reverb.